Houston, we have a problem. Uh, province life. I'm a great advocate for living in the province, but it's not the same as living in the, in the city, you know, be it Manila or somewhere like Cebu. And something just happened um, in the last couple of days that's kind of, um, yeah, reinforced that. So in this video, I'll talk about some of the things that, um, some of the disadvantages um, of living in the province, as opposed to, for example, Manila. Um, what, the first thing I want to talk about is what actually happened to us. Now, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you'll know that uh, we have solar panels uh, up on the roof, and uh, we have the, the battery um, downstairs in the living room together um, with the control panel and it was just last week there my wife got the electric bill um, for the month and she was a bit um, confused as to why it was so high so upon further inspection um, she realised or she thought that the solar panels weren't working and I, that's what I said there as well it sounds like there's a problem so she had a look um, at the control panel uh, in the living room and she said that um, it looked like there was a fault. So we called out the, uh, the guy from the company uh, who are based um, local to us in Legaspi and he came out and he looked at it and he said yeah there's a problem <laughs> but that problem is now an even bigger problem whilst it's under warranty um, the issue is they can't fix it here. So they have to send the complete control panel to Manila, to the headquarters. And he said it could take up to a month. So that means that if there's any power cuts, any brownouts, uh, we will be affected now. It also means that our electric bill is going to be higher because we have no solar panels. Um, it cannot run off the battery. So. Um, that is um, something that I was not expecting and I didn't think about when uh, we bought the solar panels. Anyway, some good news, um, I've sold my car uh, and that means that I don't have to worry about it when I leave here. So with that, uh, it was always my intention to sell the car sooner rather than later. I didn't want to, to wait right till the end before I leave the Middle East and retire in the Philippines. So that's good. Um, that means that uh, basically I am footloose and fancy free. <laughs> that means that I don't have that. That was the big ticket that I had, that I had to um, get rid of. Um, and it means that the cash for this car here, um, I can then use to buy a car um, in the Philippines, which is what I'm going to do. So that's some good news. Now, getting back to the province, um, there are uh, obviously other disadvantages uh, of living in the province, and if you if you live in the province, any province in the Philippines, uh, you'll be aware of it. Uh, but if you don't, and maybe you're thinking about uh, moving to the province, um, I'll put a link to one of the videos in the description. It talks more about province life, but more more about the advantages. Uh, and disadvantages, pros and cons, uh, if you like. So I'm talking here mainly about the disadvantages. Um, some of the other things you'll find, um, maybe depending on uh, which province you're in or which province you go to, um, you'll struggle to find what I would call um, good Western food uh, in restaurants. And by that, I mean somewhere like a steakhouse. Now, you can get them in Manila. Um, in fact, there is, we recently found out that there is one um, in Albay or in, in uh, Daraga, uh, but we haven't been to it yet and it's only one, really the only one that we know of. Um, so that's one disadvantage and uh, some of the other disadvantages could be, you know, when you're, when you're in the supermarket, um, for example, we struggle to get wild mushrooms. I think there's only one supermarket where um, where we actually found some, so um, that can be an issue. I mean, it's not a big problem, but you know, there are some small things that you'll find 
um, you know, in, in our province or in our um, town, um, there's no um, what I would call like a proper bar. Um, it's just not in the culture, you know. You go to Manila, you'll find bars um, all over, but here um, in Albay province, you don't you don't um, uh, see that. Um, I don't know about about in Naga, Naga City, but here, Legaspi, uh, Daraga, there's not really what I would call you know a British or American style uh, bar. But you know that just means that yeah, um, you know I, I don't go to drink outside. Um, I'm used to drinking at home anyway, you know, at weekends and stuff. And um, some of the other disadvantages are, um, you, you know, we, we don't have any taxis in our province. Um, we have to use tricycles or jeeps, um, which is no real heart, heartache if you've got a car. But if you don't have a car, um, you know, we got, when we, any time we've been to Manila, um, we get used to using uh, Grab um, to get a Grab car. But um, in the province, it's different. So really, um, you know, once I go there um, and I'm retired there, um, which is pretty soon, by the way, um, I'll definitely um, invest in a car and then we'll be able to get around um, a bit easier. Um, we've just got the bike at the moment, um, which is fine um, if it's only my wife and son that are there. Uh, but if it's raining, you know, even that's a problem. I mean, we, um, I would still prefer to be in the province uh, rather than a big city, uh, to be quite honest. Um, but it takes a bit of getting used to, um, you know, living in the province. Uh, but I guess um, it was easier for me because where I grew up in Scotland, um, we grew up in a small village, uh, you know, basically not, not in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, we were probably 18 miles from Edinburgh and 25 miles from Glasgow. So small village, the population was only about a thousand people and we were surrounded by fields and rivers. So I'm used to growing up uh, in the country. Um, but if you're not, um, <laughs> maybe you want to think twice. As I always say, uh, you know, if you're moving to the Philippines, don't up sticks and, and move there straight away. Go and have a look, take a holiday, um, see if it's for you, uh, because province life isn't all a bed of roses. Um, but, you know, I prefer it, definitely. I wouldn't like to live in a big city, especially with um, our son going to school and stuff like that. Um, it's definitely uh, better in the province. So getting back to the solar panels, um, if you're interested in, in buying solar panels, I'll leave a, a link to the video um, at the end of this video. Um, I made a video about the solar panels, how much they cost, who we bought them from, and uh, everything like that. The installation was done pretty much in a day. Um, they did come back out um, to uh, finish it, but um, it didn't take long. And we got uh, seven solar panels on the roof, two metres square, uh, each one. Um, everything is in the video, like I said, but the total, I remember the total price, it was 323,000, or was it 343 uh, pesos? Uh, but what a great investment. But I just didn't think about any maintenance, uh, you know, if something went wrong. Um, and he did say, you know, they may have it back within two weeks. Um, but initially, the company said a month. You know, a month's a long time. <laughs> especially when you get uh, the brownouts and stuff like that. Anyway, um, like I say, guys, uh, I'll leave the link at the end of this video. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers and now. Bye.